How to repair your carpet. If you have a burn or stain on your carpet, don't despair. You can repair the area with a few simple tools and it'll look as good as new. You will need a razor blade, a toothpick or other small implement, waterproof adhesive, tweezers, scissors, a template, a utility knife, and a heavy object. Optional, a remnant. Step one, shave off the burnt ends of the fibers if your carpet has a burn. Carefully trim the ends with a razor blade if the burn doesn't go too deep and no one will ever know the burn was there. Step two, steal some fibers from an inconspicuous area of the carpet. Think the back of a closet or beneath a radiator. Then use a razor blade to cut the damaged area down to the backing. Step three, Use a toothpick or other small implement to apply a waterproof adhesive to the backing and then use tweezers to very carefully press the fibers into the glue. Let the glue dry before walking on the spot and, when it's dry, use scissors to trim the spot so that it's even. Be careful not to get any glue on the fibers surrounding the bare spot. Step 4. Cut out the damaged area and replace it with a new piece. Make a template out of plywood or plastic that just covers the damaged area and adhere it to the floor. Then, cut around the edges of the template with a utility knife to remove the damage. Step 5. Use the damaged section or your template to cut an identical piece of carpeting from an inconspicuous area or from a remnant. Then, apply waterproof adhesive to the bare spot, being careful not to get any on the surrounding fibers, and insert your replacement piece. If you're using a remnant, you can lay it over the damage and cut straight through both pieces to get an exact match. Step 6. Smooth over the patched area with your hand to disguise the patch, and then set a heavy object on top of it until the glue dries, at least 24 hours. Did you know? William Sprague opened the first carpet mill in the U.S. in Philadelphia in 1791.